question is from Taylor Dinkle. What are your thoughts on powerlifting for aesthetics? Well, this is similar to a question that I had. Someone asked me of what I thought uh, is a better place to start, hmm. either bodybuilding or powerlifting. Mm. And my response to them is, I actually said I would lean towards powerlifting uh, first as a base. But I could, yes, as a base. But I could also make the case for the other way. Yeah. So there's I, this is this is not a. Uh, you know, for sure, one way or the other. I think there's value of somebody training for aesthetics or the mind muscle connection, bodybuilding technique of training that is extremely valuable on, from that perspective uh, and what that mm. benefits. Then there's a ton of value for somebody who's to build a really solid foundation, like from powerlifting and what you get from that. Yeah. Let's say somebody is like completely brand new to working out. Like, uh, would you guys prefer them to start in a powerlifting? Uh, routine versus a bodybuilding routine. Yeah, now you're not talking about uh, competitive powerlifting, right? You're talking about no, powerlifting. No, 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 yeah, right. yeah. Just I, training he, like just, a powerlifter. Here's just stretching why, your capacity. Here's yeah. why I would lean, believe it or not, more towards powerlifting. Um, and now this is granted the person that we're working with right, is free gonna, of major exa muscle imbalance. Yeah. Cause exactly, because I'm going to challenge. take all that out. Because yeah. I can challenge either way Right, but let's say easily. somebody's free of major muscle imbalance. Because if that's the case, you have to focus on corrective exercise regardless of where yeah. we're going to go. Which follows, falls in the aesthetic bodybuilding. It might be, right? More yeah. Yeah, I'd probably muscle. go bodybuilding if, if there was issues. Right. But let's say everything's fine and they don't have major muscle imbalances. Here's why I'll make the argument for powerlifting because powerlifting is so movement focused, they're more likely to learn biomechanically sound squatting, deadlifting, uh, and bench pressing, you know, the mm -hmm. core lifts and movements. Later on, once they've really got good at those lifts yeah. and they can do them well and they know how to maximize leverage and do it in a way to where they don't hurt themselves because that's what powerlifters do. Mm -hmm. They they maximize leverage and efficiency so they can lift the most weight, which means, believe it or not, reducing risk of injury. A powerlifter benches in the safest way possible that can lift the most amount of weight. Bodybuilders don't do this. Bodybuilders lift to feel it in the muscle. Now, powerlifters tend to hurt themselves more, but it's not because of the way they lift. It more, has more to do with the fact that they're always maxing out and pushing their limits. But it'll teach sound technique and form and movement. Then from there, when they have that base, then I can say, okay, focus on your glutes, focus on your quads, focus on your lats, and do those kinds of well, things. Not yeah, if, if, if like, say, we're, we're taking this out, like, if nobody has, like, these pre-existing conditions, like, going into it, like, otherwise, I would probably lean more towards bodybuilding because now we can isolate and get a better recruitment, like, joint by joint. But I've found in my experience in coaching people that, you know, if I were to train the movement like you're talking about, uh, you know, like taking them from there to bodybuilding was was a better transition yeah. versus the opposite where now like taking a bodybuilder and trying to teach them like overall, you know, gross motor movements like was challenging because they, like certain parts of their like joints want to kick in like individually and they're going to they're going to like pull well, like a deadlift with their biceps. Well, now now ima imagine we have somebody because we're also like there's there's so many different ro roads there's so many ways to skin a cat sure right? yeah. just, but let's pretend i've got, we've got a listener who has got you know years of experience three five two, more than two years of experience lifting so they're not they're not brand spanking new they see all the maps programs they see there's a power lifting program they see there's a maps aesthetics they so they're like okay where would i start what would i do you know do you think that your power lifting program is good for sense? so here's if i had a year with you App powerlifting for sure would make its way into that training, right? Mm -hmm. So I would for sure use our MAPS aesthetic, our MAPS split program, and our MAPS powerlifting program, mm -hmm. and probably even strong. Like those four I would use for this person. If you came to me, you said, I, I want to build the most aesthetic physique you've got me for one year, Adam. I'm going to use all four of those programs because there's going to be massive carryover for your your overall goal. Totally. Now, yeah. if we're, now the question is about aesthetics. Okay. Now, again, it depends who I'm talking to. If I'm talking mm -hmm. to the person that's been powerlifting for a while, bodybuilding is going to give them better aesthetics. If I'm talking to the person who is a relative beginner, free of imbalances, they're going to get great aesthetics from powerlifting. Focusing on the movement is going to give them the most muscle mass gains, general muscle building. Now, bodybuilding, the strength of bodybuilding is they can isolate muscles and focus and sculpt on different parts of my body. The strengths in powerlifting are I get really good at these gross motor movements that work everything anyway. So when it comes to aesthetics, it really depends who I'm talking it to. It does because here's another yeah. person, myself. Okay, powerlifting uh, contributed to my pro physique more than bodybuilding training oh, did. Oh, yeah. Mm. I trained like a bodybuilder most of my life. I always wanted aesthetics, and so I neglected 
powerlifting as I just never identify with, oh, I don't need to deadlift fucking my max. I don't need to do squatting for my max. Like I never drop below five reps. It wasn't until I started powerlifting did I my physique grow to the next level. So I would even say somebody who is like me, who has always done all the cable exercises, machine exercises, isolation stuff, bodybuilding type of movements for most of their life or most of their training career, absolutely would uh, benefit yeah. extremely from powerlifting for their aesthetics. It's it's what m grew my back. It's what grew my legs. It bulked my shoulders. Like those things, it put on a lot more mass onto my physique. And then when I peeled down, it was very obvious that that served my body. You know where you know where powerlifting works phenomenally for aesthetics. It, it, and typically for me, I saw it be super effective with my female clients who were very body focused. Mm -hmm. The ones who are very aesthetic focused, who'd been going to the gym for a while, and it's all about you know I got to change how I look. I got to change how I look. They watch the scale, watch the scale. I'd switch them to powerlifting because I knew that it would get them to focus on performance. I knew it would get them to focus on how strong they were. I knew it got them to move away from the small isolation movements where I got to feel every little muscle. And I'm like, no, 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 forget all that. We're going to get you really strong at some of these core lifts. And they would get these phenomenal aesthetic gains. They'd come to me and be like, oh my God, my butt never looked bigger and better. My hamstrings look round. I have better posture. Then we would go back to the body sculpting, bodybuilding routines, and they would get better results. 100%. If you have somebody who is, and you know, that's another great example. If you are a superset chaser, 15 to 20 reps, low rest period person training, uh, and lots of, you know, plyometric stuff, and that's the stuff you love, and you're also trying to sculpt this, you know, aesthetic physique, switch, switching your mindset over to a powerlifting type of routine is going to build incredible amounts of muscle on you. Mm -hmm. So this is a depends question as always. Uh, but it really, it, it, who I'm talking to would be where I would push this person, but absolutely powerlifting could, uh, benefit aesthetics tremendously.